Jack Ma has resurfaced after months out of public view. China's most recognizable billionaire addressed teachers via a live stream during an annual event to recognize rural educators. Bloomberg's Alan Wan has more. Great news for Jack Ma fans. China's most famous entrepreneur has reappeared after being out of spotlight since November when he didn't appear uh, for the taping of the show called uh, Business Heroes. It was a pretty uh, tough uh, November for Jack. Not only did the Chinese government uh, torpedo his $35 billion Ant IPO, but it also ordered an, an overhaul of Ant and they launched a probe of uh, Alibaba. So after a lot of uh, recent speculation to his whereabouts, we're talking about everything from being detained to uh, hanging out in Sanya, to being seen at a funeral in Hong Kong for this uh, tycoon, uh, Jack was actually finally spotted uh, at a live stream where he uh, spoke to uh, rural educators at this annual event. Why is the world so concerned about Jack Ma's whereabouts? I mean, to give you an indication of, of how much investors were concerned, the stock soared as much as 11% on Wednesday on the news. I mean, Jack Ma is not just one of China's uh, richest persons, but he's one of the most admired. Uh, when I went to Hangzhou last week on my uh, search for Jack, uh, it just seemed like every everybody there, all the residents and people who do business with Alibaba, talk about him in almost reverential terms. They call him a teacher Ma. Jack is a uh, fluent English speaker, and he's a very gregarious if you ever watch him speak. Uh, he's al also has a sort of no-holds-barred way of talking, and that's probably why I got him in trouble in the first place. Uh, back in October, he gave a speech uh, that criticized regulators and state-owned banks for, uh, for lack of innovation. Well, Jack may have uh, officially retired as the day-to-day -day chief of Alibaba. He's still uh, seen as the face of uh, China's big, biggest e-commerce company. And uh, after retiring, uh, instead of gently going into that good night, um, he's actually been trying to uh, transform the financial sector in China the way he's done, he's disrupted the uh, retail sector here. And um, with his end group, which was primed for the uh, biggest IPO at $35 billion, what he's looking at right now is the possible, possible breakup of his empire. I mean, it's easy to say that uh, it's unfair to penalize uh, Jack Ma for his hard-earned success. But you have to understand, uh, both Alibaba and, uh, and Tencent, uh, they dominate uh, so many key areas of Chinese economy, from uh, finance to uh, the retail. And a lot of the concerns that the Chinese government has is, is, isn't that dissimilar from what you see in the U.S. with calls to uh, break up a big tech amid fears of uh, monopolies. But at the very least, we know that Jack Ma is safe and sound. I mean, that's more than we can say for some other tycoons in China who've had their um, empires torn apart, they've had to sell assets, and uh, they've even been detained.